What what is it about light rays that just feels like heavenly, like God is here? I mean, it's literally just beams of light, right? Well, regardless, we're gonna figure out how to create this effect in After Effects, coming up. What's happening guys, I'm Sam DeZeo and this is SmartDesign.Church where we help churches communicate the timeless gospel in the 21st century. And today we're using After Effects to create some awesome beams of light with some simple video that I got at my church. We're going to be doing this in two phases. So one, we're going to be taking a look at how to do this in photos, which is fairly simple. But then we're kicking it up a notch and we're doing this with video and tracking our camera in a 3D world to create almost a light source in a 3D environment. So first, let's start out with the photo. So let's close up these comps here and start out with just our photo layer. So right now I have a composition and all I have in there is our photo. So how do we create these light rays? So if we go up to layer, new, and adjustment layer, and now we have to add a few effects. So let's go over to our effects and presets and let's first put in tint. We wanna make this black and white. So if we drag this on our adjustment layer, it's gonna make color black and white. And let's now add on levels, drag this on there. And then the last thing we wanna add on is a CC radial fast blur. Make sure it's the fast blur, the CC radial fast blur and not the CC radial blur. So the first thing I wanna do is turn off our radial blur. We'll turn that on here in a second, but we're not quite ready for it yet. So to crank the highlights and the shadows, uh, we're gonna slide these sliders here. And I'm gonna bring this slider in pretty far and that's really gonna crush a lot of those shadows so we'll crank that in and we're left with just some of those highlights and now let's turn on our CC radio fast blur and if we turn that on we can see that it's now starting to produce that light ray effect and we can crank up the amount to have a longer more intense light rays and what our center is gonna do if we click the, that little center icon and then click anywhere on the screen that center icon is really what's going to determine where that light source is coming from. And as you can see, if we move that around, um, the light source reacts to that. So now what we have is basically a black and white layer. And the way to fix that is by going down to mode. And if you don't see that, just toggle your switches and modes. Go to mode on our adjustment layer and setting that to screen. And what that'll do is it'll get rid of the black in the image. It'll keep the white. Uh, but we can see like on this black pillar here, uh, we can see those light rays pretty easy. Let's toggle this on and off and see if we can see the difference here. So let's actually crank up the the intensity of this. We don't want it to be too much. It's all kind of about finding that happy medium where it gives it a nice effect, but you don't want it to be overkill to where it doesn't even seem realistic. So I think we're starting to get somewhere. Lastly, I'm gonna go up to my adjustment layer and add a curves just to give these light rays a little bit of color. So let's boost up the RGB just a little bit. Uh, we'll boost up the reds and then maybe bring down the blues. It kind of gives it that yellowish feel to it. All right, so with all that in mind, let's jump into our video composition and we're gonna do very similar techniques. But with video, you're gonna have one more extra step, which isn't too complicated, it's not too bad. So what we can do is if we go up to layer, new, and we're just gonna run through this real quick because we already know what we're doing. We're gonna add a tint, we're gonna add a levels, and a CC radial blur, or radial fast blur, excuse me. And then we're gonna crush those levels just to get those highlights. And one thing you can actually do, um, this video isn't super bright. And if we just add a brightness and contrast to this real quick, and we're not adding it to the adjustment layer, but we're adding it to the bottom layer and bringing up the brightness of that bottom image it's gonna bring in a lot of those highlights and uh, really emphasize those highlights like coming through the windows and then we can adjust where our CC radial fast blur is coming from we'll say it's coming from like the window area and we'll crank up our amount and then we'll set our mode to screen alright so if we scrub through this the thing about this is our light source doesn't really move with the scene it just kind of is stagnant, it stays in its 2D uh, area. So to fix that, what you have to do is on your video layer, go under your tracker and hit track camera. So now that's gonna analyze this video and it's going to create a 3D scene. Okay, so the tracking is done and we've now got a bunch of these little points on here that you can see and we have big targets on here. 
Um, and if we scale up our track point size, we can see that we actually have a lot of these on our stained glass window. So let's make a null object on that plane and let's also make a camera. So if I select a whole bunch of these, now it's giving me uh, this target that's like in 3D space. And if I right click on that and create null and camera, it's gonna give me a null object and a camera. And that null object, if we hit S on the keyboard and scale that up, that null object is in 3D space. So if we track through this, we can see that that null object is staying in place in the scene. So that null object, now that we have something living in this 3D space, our, uh, our light source, which is coming from our CC radial fast blur, is going to base itself, its position, off of this 3D object. So let's do that real quick. So let's go into our adjustment layer, and on our center, we need to create a little bit of an expression. So let's alt click on the stopwatch of our center, which is right now somewhere over here. So then we'll take our null object and we will link it to the track null. And then we're gonna have to add a little bit more to this expression. So we'll hit period two comp, parentheses bracket zero comma zero comma zero, bracket parentheses. And now our light source is coming from this null object. So if we move this null object around, we can see that that light source is following it. You can see how those light rays are affected. So let's move this like behind the screen here. So let's move it like off screen over here. And now if we move through this, we can see that our light source is interacting as if it's in 3D space. And you can see as we get to the point where we can see where the light source is, it looks like the sun is almost right here, doesn't it? So if you're ready to become an After Effects guru, we put together a whole playlist for you and you can click right here. And that playlist is designed to help you create more motion graphics for your church. So go ahead and click right here and make sure to subscribe.